Hey guys, today on the Cool Stuff Guys Like channel, I'm gonna show you how to clean the mass airflow sensor on your car. So, some ways to know that maybe it's about time to clean your mass airflow sensor are if you're having like a rough idle problem, uh, another symptom could be that your car is having a little bit of difficulty starting, or that it's just not accelerating the way that it used to. And the reason that that could be happening is um, because of your mass airflow sensor, which senses the velocity of the air going into the engine. Um, and that will then tell the motor how much fuel to add just to get just the right um, air fuel ratio and keep that car running good. Uh, but this Subaru Legacy with a 2.5, I'm going to show you how to do it on this, but it's going to really be the same whether you have a truck, a car, any newer car with fuel injection, the process is really going to be the same here. So if you have any comments or questions about this process, just be sure to post them in the comments section below. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button below. The first thing you're really going to want to do though is locate your mass airflow sensor. So the mass airflow sensor will be in between the air box and the throttle body on the car or the engine. Uh, in my case, it's about you know, three inches up the intake tube near the air box and it's right here. To remove my mass airflow sensor, this one just has Phillips head screws. So you just remove the mass airflow sensor with the Phillips head screws. Um, before you do that though, just make sure you pop off the little electrical connector here uh, and make sure your car is not running or anything when you do this. Um, next thing you're going to need to do is get some um, mass airflow sensor cleaner. You can get this at the Advance Auto or the Auto Zone, just any auto parts store. Or I've heard some people say that you can use rubbing alcohol to clean your mass airflow sensor, but um, this is like about a $150 sensor. So I opt to use the mass airflow sensor. This stuff will last you like forever, basically. So just pop your sensor off and take your mass airflow sensor cleaner. And there's gonna be a small little electrode um, it's like a super, super thin wire. And that's, that's the actual unit that's really doing the sensing. So you really want to hose that down good with the mass airflow sensor cleaner. And I would spray a few seconds, maybe three or four times over that area of the sensor. And, um, and then the next step is really just going to be make sure that that sensor dries. Um, you don't want to put a wet mass airflow sensor in, back in your car and you especially don't want to put a wet mass airflow sensor in and start the car because you could burn out the unit and then again you're out like $150. So you don't want to do that. So, you know, put it back in the car and um, final step will just be reconnect uh, your little electrical connector and start your car up and you wouldn't be surprised to find that your car is probably going to accelerate a little bit better, maybe a little bit more like it did when it was new. Um, and you might have a little bit of a smoother idle, but it's such a quick and easy job that if your car has over 50,000 miles, um, I would recommend you do this job. So give it a try. And um, if you like this video, check out some more of my, my how-to DIY car videos. And thanks for watching.